hello guys so today i'll be telling you how to provide liquidity in swipe swap in past few days i've been receiving quite a few requests regarding this so let's uh, get into it so what we'll do is uh, we'll go to um, swipe website that is swipe.org and then we'll unlock our wallet Alright, now we'll head to pool. In the pool, we'll click add liquidity. So, uh, let's say we want to provide liquidity for uh, SXB and BUSD pool. So, from here, we'll select SXB. And uh, in the second input, we'll select the second token of the pool, which is BUSD. Alright, so here what we have to do is, uh, whenever you provide liquidity in a pool, you have to provide equal amounts on both sides in terms of USD value. So for example, if I'm trying to provide liquidity worth, worth 10 SXP, it will auto calculate uh, the BUSD amount that we have to provide. So whatever you are comfortable with, start with those amounts. Let's say I want to provide liquidity with uh, 20 SXP. And then what we have to do is we have to give some set of approvals. So first we will approve spending of SXP. We'll confirm this. And we'll wait for the confirmation from the network. There you go. And then we'll approve BUSD. Again, we'll wait for the confirmation from the network. Now, once we get the confirmation for both the tokens, we can then supply and at the bottom you can see what will be your share of the pool so let's hit supply so what you will do what you will get is uh, you will get lp tokens that is what we call as liquidity providers token and it is a representation of the share of the pool uh, share of the liquidity that you have provided in comparison to the total pool size so we'll confirm the supply and again we have to confirm this transaction and then we have to wait for the network to confirm the transaction all right so we have supplied 20 sxp and 92 BUSD. these are my lp tokens removing liquidity is as e is even easier than uh, providing liquidity all you have to do is just click remove now you can select the percentage of the liquidity that you want to remove let's say we want to remove all of it we'll select maximum and then we'll select remove we'll confirm this and we'll wait for the confirmation from the network so maybe in a few seconds we'll have the confirmation there you go so it is not that difficult as long as you know what you're doing.